What's the deal? It's your boy Jeffrey, aka Kiss Dees. And it's a real pressing time right now in my life. There's a lot of things going on, but some things have rose to the top. I've made some statements that need to be explained. The first statement is boycott k -Mail. What do I mean by boycott k -Mail? First and foremost, my whole career, I've respected this man. I've respected his art, his contributions to the world, the positive outlooks that k -Mail has from his mind outward. I respected those, epitomized those, and I became one of the many apprentices to B-Boy k -Mail. Had a lot of love and a lot of respect for him. But what happens when your OGs, the people that you respect, the heroes, the top of the top, the top tier, the leaders, are extorting people's respect for them? What happens when you tell someone, a young man that looks up to you, A, B, C, and D, and he lives his life on A, B, C, and D, and then now it's time to deliver on A, B, C, and D. And you're nowhere to be found. Let's get to the point now. It's not just one situation. It's happened over my entire career with this particular person being B-Boy Kama. And I know for a fact because I've seen it happen to other people in front of me that I'm not the only person to go through this. But I'm going to be the person to take a stance for all of us and the people affected by other OGs leveraging the respect and their status that they have over those who do not have these things. I worked for k -Mail roughly 10 years. But in 2017, I worked for a period of three months Prior to working those three months, I was told A, B, C, and D. You will be getting paid through checks. I will be withholding the money so that we can do business. Room and board provided. And you will be compensated appropriately. Now, three months goes by, I never receive a single check. We make thousands of dollars cash it goes into his bank account for his business and yet i never received a check for the business of the three months of work estimated to be about six thousand plus odd dollars is what we would have agreed on about three thousand every two weeks situational circumstances but we agreed that i would get paid three months went by and i was never paid this is just one example I've watched him pay $50 to people in need from other countries, immigrants, Mexico, Europe, all over the world, come to California and need some support, need some cash. I've seen him give them $50 and we made $5,000, $6,000 as a group. No one felt the need to speak up on these things out of respect. 2017 has come and gone. It's 2020 now. Five days ago, he, he reached out to me and told me that he had a W-2 for me. It's been five days since, and I've asked him numerous times for this information. To no avail. So now I'm reaching out. I'm taking a stance against... Not just myself, not just this happening only to myself, but also for the entire breaking community. Because these people, although they are very respectable and super awesome, they have to be held accountable. They have to be held as the adults that they actually are, not the young men that they were supposed to mature away from. So with this being the case, I'm activizing. I'm not just going right to the courts, even though if it has to, it will. But I'm taking a stance and I'm vocalizing. I'm, I'm reaching out. I'm sharing my story so that other people can have the courage and the confidence to share their story. If anything, you can share it with me. You can find that there is support. And you can see right now that there is an opportunity that we have been presented with. We can stop the opportunity for the future to have to go through 
what we are going through. If you're going through this like me, if your respect is being taken as weakness, when it is true, genuine compassion and kindness, it's time to take a stand. It's time to stand up for what's right. It's time to put an end to what's going on because it's not right. It's not okay to tell those who believe in you and trust you things that are not true. It's not good to be a manipulator. It's not good to cause harm in people's lives and think that nothing should be held accountable on your behalf. One more time, my name is Jeffrey Arthur Wilson Boykin. I go by B-Boy Kiss Tease. Reach out to me, hit me up in the DMs and let's try to let's try to make a change, you know what I'm saying? Hashtag check these OGs.